Hi, my name is Yossi and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the options available to men who have been diagnosed with a condition called azospermia. Azospermia means that there is no sperm noted in a male's ejaculate. So essentially he goes for a semen analysis and when they look at the sperm under the microscope, they don't see any sperm at all. When a man is diagnosed with azospermia, it's obviously a very catastrophic diagnosis and couples may feel that they have now reached the end of the road and there's no further steps they can take to achieve a pregnancy, which is biologically his and hers, which comes from his sperm and her eggs. But there is a procedure called a teaser where we are able to do a tiny biopsy of the testicles and try and see if we can find sperm on a microscopic level which is inside the testicle, which we may not see in the ejaculate, but we may find at the testicular biopsy. So inside the testicle, there are millions and millions of tiny little tubes, which are filled with cells, stem cells, which are responsible for the production of sperm. The sperm produces through these cells until the mature sperm collects inside the inner part of the tube or the lumen of the tube. The sperm will then move along these tubes into the reservoir and then come out through the ejaculate. What we do with the teaser is we make a tiny incision on the male scrotum. We open up into the testicles and we take tiny biopsies, which are about the size of the head of a match. And then under a microscope, we take this tissue, which has got these tiny tubules inside, and we tease the tubules and we cut them up into tiny pieces so that if there is sperm on a microscopic level, inside these tubes, the sperm will swim out of the tubes into the media in the fluid with which, in which we're working. And we're then able to take the sperm from that fluid and freeze it and hopefully achieve pregnancies in the future with IVF. So if a man has been diagnosed with azospermia, they should first be investigated with certain hormonal tests to identify where we feel the source or the, the, the diagnosis of azospermia is. Is it related to a poor functioning pituitary gland? Is it related to a blockage? Or is it related to poor functioning testicles? And depending on those hormonal tests, we can then decide, is this male a candidate for a teaser, testicular biopsy? And if he is, if we find sperm, we're able to then freeze that sperm and utilize it later for conception purposes.